Hi, Chuck here again. I wanted to do a video to talk about upgrading your FPV camera to um, have a lens that's um, wide enough for um, FPV flying, uh, something that um, suits you and your flying style. Um, some people like their image to be zoomed up nice and close. Um, I, on, other, on the other hand, like mine to be more of the same field of view as my my Xiaomi Yi camera that um, I record on. Um, so in front of me I have my Reptile 500 quadcopter and uh, I have my um, Xiaomi Yi camera mounted up on the gimbal and on top of that I have my FPV camera and I'm able to uh, switch back and forth between these cameras using a video switcher but um, when I first got this camera the lens was just a little too zoomed in for me and I just did not feel comfortable flying that zoomed in so I went and ordered a lens online and upgraded this to a uh, I believe it was a yes it's a 2.1 millimeter lens and as near as I can tell the lens that came with this camera was a 3.6 millimeter lens and just a couple millimeters makes all the difference but there are some some uh, things to consider um, one is you know what is your sensor size um, and most of these cameras have some kind of infrared um, filter built into these things and it's either going to be on the sensor or on the lens um, so let me show you an example um, I had originally bought bought this camera that you see here and and I actually burned it out I um, hooked up the um, polarity the wrong way and uh, ended up stop, stopping uh, stopped working so the lens um, when I unscrewed it basically didn't have anything on the back of it. I thought it was interesting. There were four spots of glue, but I didn't think much of it. Got the new camera and uh, ordered my new lens. The lens came, did not have anything on the back of the camera. Um, so this is the original lens that was on my camera. It had this little piece of glass glued onto it and it has kind of a red reflective coating on it and I eventually figured out that this was the infrared uh, filter. So what happened was the image on my new lens was all washed out. It just wasn't um, very colorful and saturated. And I looked online and figured out that, well, you need to have this IR cut filter. So I said, well, let me look for a lens and those lenses were actually quite expensive and there weren't that many you can select from so what I ended up doing was searching to see if I could find a filter that I could add on to the lens and I was able to find these little uh, IR cut filters uh, from China they were three dollars and uh, I don't know about three dollars fifty cents for a pair of them and I ordered these things and they actually sent me six of them but I only needed one so in any case I took the one and was able to um, get four little drops of epoxy and glued it onto the back of my lens and put it on my camera and everything was great so this is just a quick way of taking a camera that may have the IR filter already on the, on the lens and if you want to upgrade that to um, a le another lens to get a different uh, field of view, you can just go ahead and order these little these little glass IR cut filters and epoxy them onto the back of your lens, and then screw it back onto your camera and uh, get your saturated colors back. So just a quick tip, wanted to pass that along. Thanks a lot for watching.